Dad, what's with that bathrobe? It's what? What's wrong with the bathrobe? It's a, I've never seen you wear that. It's a little shiny. Well, it's not supposed to look shiny. It's supposed to look luxurious. You know, it sort of makes you look French. Is that bad? I've never seen that robe. Well, I've never seen you wear that. Robe. I've never had the occasion. You know, it's a, I mean, it's it, been a long time since I've had to take the robe out. You only take it out on special occasions. Why are you wearing? Well, you know robe? why? Because we had company last night, and I thought I should look nice in the morning. Yeah, and I uh, don't uh, remember having company last night, Dad. <laughs> well, this is after you went to sleep. We, I had a, uh, I had a sleepover date, Ben. <laughs> Shut up, Dad. You did not. I did. I Why mean, the robe? Well, Dad, the, really? I'm, I, here's what happened. I, I went to the ethical therapist convention, and uh -huh. uh, she's. Uh -huh. I thought she was one of them, but apparently, yeah. not last night. You, you had a woman. In your bed last night, <clears throat> but Dad, this is this is an. Uh, I mean, th this is wrong. This is like a. a Go ahead, say it. Just say it. I mean, if you think there's something that I did something wrong, I would like to know about it. I mean, do you even know this woman? I mean, you met her one night at a convention. That sounds well. Do you, we had this incredible chemistry. Everything just clicked. You know, the way she looked at me, the conversation. I felt witty. I felt um, but, sexy. I felt uh, uh, those are all disgusting things. Dad, how do you bring a woman home? You know, into our house. This is the family home. What kind of woman just comes home with a man in in one night? I don't make it seem so. Cheap. Well, Dad, it was. I mean, it sort of was cheap. I mean, don't yeah. you feel responsible to to develop a relationship with a woman before you bring her over to the house and have her That's over? That's what we did in the cab. Oh, where where is she? Where where does she go? She had to leave early. She went to work. Yeah, see, this um, is all. You know, I I really think you're going to like her. She's a she's a neuroanatomist over at City Hospital. A neuroanatomist. Anatomist. She does a uh, brain research. Oh well, I guess that makes it all right then, huh? She does brain research. You know what she does every morning? She puts a cat to sleep and then studies their brains. Oh wow, that's interesting. Before yeah. she's had her first cup of coffee, she's killed eight cats. <laughs> well, well, that's that's all I'm saying. She's made a commitment. Yeah. She well, actually pu was published. She did a paper about chickens and their peripheral vision, oh. which uh, you know, if you put a chicken on a train, they can't really follow the scenery. You know what I mean? That sounds great, Dad. It all sounds yeah. great. I'll tell you if she's anything like her uh, her perfume. That's me. Then. Oh, that's you. Yeah, I'm wearing a fragrance. That uh... <laughs> you're wearing a fragrance. You know, I keep it in the pocket of the robe for occasions like this. Yeah, but that yeah that, that hasn't been used in a while, huh? Well, it's been you know I'm a bit on a dry spell. <sighs> well, I guess I'm you know? happy for you, Dad. I mean, there, well, you I sure mean... have an odd way of showing your happiness for me. I think that you should be thrilled that your father, at the age of 48, is finally pursuing a healthy, yeah. full yeah. Relationship with a, uh, with a with, with a teen with a happy go lucky teen. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, that, I think you'd be happy for me that I met somebody who I'm fond of and that we hit it off and that maybe something will evolve here. You know, I don't even know you anymore, Dad. I mean, you're not the man I married. What's that smell? I don't smell it. You don't smell it? Give me a hint. It's sort of like a, like something that's trying to be cologne. Oh, 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 oh! You it's, know what that is? It's a fragrance for men. Oh, oh! And you're wearing it. I yeah. get it. What do you think? It, it, it takes some getting used to. Oh, that's a good name for it. No, 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 no! You don't understand. That's that's not the name of the cologne. That's that's what's required of the people who are exposed to it. Oh, well. Um, I don't mean to be mean or anything, but could you go in your office? Because the fumes are starting to sting my eyes. It, it takes some getting used to. Hi, I'm Lou Schneider. Mm. Hi, um, I'm not crazy. I may just have some things I want to talk about. I mean, you know, I'm just, I, not everyone who comes in here is crazy, you know. And for you to think that is wrong. <sighs> Boy, you know what? I never realized how hungry a poor little baby got. Sure. You know, I remember sure. sitting in the in our apartment and yeah. going, you know, you have to go, to, we'd say, do you want to check the baby? And you have to check the baby every seven to ten seconds, you know, when you're a new parent. Sure. So I go in, bang, hit the crib, and he sort of startles, and he's fine, and I leave. And then like an hour later, he's screaming at the top of his lungs. I said, oh, my God, he's screaming. What, what's the matter? And Liz says, oh, he must be hungry. Well, that's very hungry. 
I mean, that is very hungry. When was the last time you were that hungry? Um, you know, one minute you're sleeping and the next minute, ah! Wow. That's very hungry. Yeah. It's a good thing you lose that impulse. I mean, because it would be awful in restaurants. Yes, I need, I'd like to order. Waitress, I'll be right with you. You'll be right with me right now. Ah! We brought our, we brought our baby over to my single friend's house. Not a single woman, single man. My friend Otis's house. I, I, we've talked about Otis. It made me feel so uncomfortable. I mean, first of all, you you bring you bring a kid over to a single guy's house. It's like when they used to bring those exotic animals onto those talk shows. It's like, here, you want to hold them? No, 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 no. Now wait a minute. Let me let me ask you a question. Now is he full grown? Oh no, they could grow to be six feet, six feet, one hundred eighty pounds. No, you're kidding. What's he eat? Oh, he'll, he'll eat anything. You want to let him lick you? No, 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 no. And they don't even understand. I mean, maybe maybe I was like that, but. It just seemed, I'm just so conscious of it. It was like Otis's house of glass and edges and flame. It was unbelievable. The whole house. It's just like, it was like we were sitting in a camping stove. It was the most dangerous place in the world. I got in a weird situation. I, I hurt my son not too long ago. I, I didn't mean to. He was doing that little kid flop, you know, where they just sort of all their bones turn to mush and they lie on the sidewalk. And I picked him up by the arm. And uh, I didn't yank him or anything, but somehow... His little elbow went out of joint, and of course I couldn't bring him to the hospital because I didn't want to spend the night in jail. So I just called the doctor and said, what do we do? And they said, well, you can fix this at, at your house. And they told me how to pop his elbow back in, and I did it. It was very easy. I actually was able to put his dislocated elbow back in, into place, and that was kind of cool. Now I just, for guests, I'll actually just pull a limb out and put it back just for show. <laughs> You know, I've been uh, I've been mulling over uh, you know what happened mm -hmm. this morning, and yeah. uh, you know I was upset a little mm -hmm. earlier, and uh, well, I'm glad that passed. But that did pass, and now uh, I'm a little bit proud, good, but also still a little bit upset. And I was going to actually call call mom and and, and tell her, but mm -hmm. I decided against tell it. her what I tell her about the woman. You know that that was with you. Why would you? Why would you even think of it? Well, I thought about it because I mean, mom has a right to know that you're seeing other people, and uh, she didn't know that. And I, I was going to tell her, but now I'm, I, I decided against it. I, I don't think she would I even care that. to tell you the truth. I think she would, Dad. I mean, Ben, your mother expects me to see other women. She's told you that. She's given me an ultimatum. <laughs> no, yeah. she hasn't said it so many words, but but yeah. but it's only natural after after being separated for ten years, divorced for eight of those. Right. That I would pursue a relationship with another woman. <laughs> I see what you're doing, Dad. You, you're, you're getting back at Mom because she's seeing other people. You know, she takes a couple lessons with a with a with a race car driver. Well, good and for you're her. You're upset about that, and uh, so then I could care to... less at what your mother does in her pri in her her private life is her private life. Uh huh. You know, I didn't uh -huh. realize that she was involved with a race car driver. Oh yeah, for a couple months. Now. Yeah. Yeah. I hope she's happy. Professional uh, competitive racing or just an enthusiast? No, professional. Totally uh -huh. professional. Stock cars? Oh, I, 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 I don't really know what kind of car. I don't want to get involved in that. You know who taught your mother how to drive a stick shift? Um, I'm here for the 11 o'clock appointment. Uh, it's 11.30, Mr. Bratis. I'm sorry. I'm afraid you've missed it. You'll have to reschedule. Oh, can I reschedule it for 12 o'clock? No, actually, that's when Dr. Katz takes his lunch. Uh, well, can I go with him? Yes. Sorry about lunch, Bill, but I think there's, there's just too much, too many things that distract us in the in the diner. But uh, it, would you would you like one of these mints? Well, what about what kind of aspirations did you have then? I uh, when I was a little boy, I had two dreams. Uh, one was to grow up, yeah. and the other was to be a professional baseball player. You know, I love baseball. Mm -hmm. I played Little League back in college, and my nickname was Mr. I, I went to San Francisco, and um, it was great there. The first, mm -hmm. first day there, I had my nipple pierced, huh. and uh, it's okay. They caught the guy. I have, uh, I'm wearing contact lenses. And uh, they're, they're new, and uh, 
Mm-hmm. And they're the soft ones, you know. And the, when I first got them, I put them in backwards, you know, and I could see my brain. I could see the word farming way in the back of my brain. It was a, it was the answer to a, a question on a test I had in the sixth grade. And uh, at the time, I, I couldn't think of it. But now I remember it as farming. And do you remember the question? What the farmers do. It's weird, though, when, you know, when people first find out that I'm wearing contact lenses, they can't believe it. They feel like they've been deceived, you know, that this is something they should have known about. They're always staring at me. You mean you're wearing contact lenses? I didn't know that. Well, yeah, that's the whole idea. See, if I wore the lenses and then drew glasses on my face with a big fat green crayon just so you would know, what's the point? Jonah, what is that? Are you wearing a cologne? Uh, you know what you're smelling? It's a medicated uh, powder that I have a rash. That's nice. I like it. <laughs> what are you laughing at? It's nice. I, I like is, it a lot. What is your problem, Stanley? What's so funny about a guy with a rash? The old rash excuse. You're wearing perfume, aren't you? No, I'm not wearing perfume. Cologne? Yeah? I am wearing... I have a rash. That's all from... Uh, you know, Katz, I, I kind of recognize the scent, so you can't pull one over on me. I remember five years ago, yeah. you were wearing the same scent. Well, and you, were, you were all hot for that temp. Remember that temp that became a perm? Is that, is that true? It's true. I met, I met someone last night, and uh, I... Oh, cute. Why is it? What's so cute about it? I mean, a, a man and a woman... Uh, in a weak moment. It's just a whole other side of you that I just never see. And it's something so sweet about you're making this effort to wear cologne. It's just cute. Stanley, will you, will you explain to me what's going on here? It's, it's natural for women to think that men in love are adorable. That's the way they are. You throw in bald and petite like you, and you, you, know, you got some cute stuff there. I don't Shut think up. that's... Stanley, I'm just so happy that you found someone new, John. Mwah. Uh, hello, you know, I, I recently switched dry cleaners. Could that, I think that might uh, be worth something, a little, uh, a high five, a peck on the cheek, a cheek on the back. You know, I had a weird experience at the, with the doctor. You know, I don't respond well to treatment. I think that's part of the problem, is that I don't respond well to treatment. I, I call up a doctor. First of all, I never see my doctor because I'm in an HMO. They don't want you to come in. You call me, I'm sick. Don't come in. No, no, don't come in. Is there a doctor there? No, no. No, it's like the Wizard of Oz. There's no doctor. Pay no attention to us. It's like it's, you're, you're reaching a post office box somewhere. You, you can't go in. Fine, he finally called me back, and I said, I have a cold. I have a cough. He says, okay, a cough. Now, is that a productive cough? I said, well, what do you mean productive? And he says, well, are you coughing up a lot of mucus? I said, well, yes, but I'm not using it for anything. I, I had a weird experience at the dentist, too. I um, Well, maybe it's my own fault. I was goofing around with the dentist a little bit the, the last time I'd been there. And, you know, he was saying, oh, you got to take better care of your teeth. And I said, I will, doctor. I'm really going to concentrate this time. I'm going to brush, and I'm even going to get some of that string. Doctor, are you awake? I'm with you. Anyway, you know, I'm frustrated. Tell me about it. I mean, tell me about it. Because part of the way I express myself is through sarcasm. I mean... Sometimes people get it, sometimes they don't. What about the guy who first used sarcasm? That must have been horrible. How's that food? Is it hot enough for you? Oh, yeah, it's plenty hot. Good. No, it's not hot. It's cold. Why don't you say that? I was being something. Woo, this is, this, this is just, uh, just awful, uh. I had a near-death experience. I almost choked to death on an ice cube. It was the weirdest way to go. Uh, I mean, I didn't die, but it, I, I had a terrible feeling of my life flashing as this ice cube stuck in my windpipe, and I'm doing this panicky math equation of, I got a half-inch wide ice cube stuck in my half-inch wide trachea. I'm going to die. Oh, no, wait a minute. The ice is melting, but it's melting slowly. How, how long can my brain go without oxygen? I have to get to a warmer room. Hey, Dad. 
Betty? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ben, geez, nice to, see, nice to bump into you like this. Well, I thought I, I should be out of the house, Dad, you know, because of uh, your lady friend. Oh, no, she, I gave her the... Stopping by. I gave her the night off. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, you're not seeing her tonight? Well, you never know, though, you know? I mean, like last night, it can just happen, huh? Well, you know what? We both need to sort of, uh, we both need to kind of absorb the experience. It was, it was sort of a whirlwind mm -hmm. kind of... Oh, so maybe it happened too fast, huh? Uh, no regrets, but I just I have to make some sense out of it. You, you don't know? feel guilty at all about what happened? No. You know, though, I'm going to head to the mall and I'm going to go to the pet store and look at some of the animals, some of the... Uh, you know, it seems like you're spending some a, of the creatures a lot of that, time uh, at the pet store these days, man. Well, they're the... Uh, at the pet store, Dad, you're not... Uh, let's put it this way, you're not portrayed by the animals. You know? Not yet. I, I've actually also had my eye on this dog. I've been visiting this dog for quite some time. Uh -huh. I'm starting to feel like I'm leading him on, so I'm gonna... Well, look, why don't you come home with me? We'll mm -hmm. have some dinner, just the two of us. I was, I actually was gonna make shepherd's pie, which I know... Don't tease me, Dad. I'm not teasing you. Hey, Ben, you, you do know that you're the most important person in my life, don't you? You, mm -hmm. you, you understand that? Mm. Come on, Ben, what do you say? Shepherd's pie, grape soda, <sighs> the I, works. I don't know, Dad. You, mashed potatoes? Mashed potatoes? What do you think? I, I still don't What's, know. I'm talking about the brown gravy that you love. Brown gravy? Yeah. I'm not... Any... I think it's still brown. Any... Is it old? Oh, it's plenty old. Yeah. What else you got going? <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Hey, Dad, look at, take a look at this one. Yeah. That's Mr. Pemberton. Oh, he is a cutie. That's Mr. Pemberton. Say hello to Mr. Pemberton. How do you do, sir? I didn't, yeah. I never know how to act in front of a dog. You, you know? know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking for this puppy. Yeah. Put a bowler hat on him and uh, just take him out for walks all the time. He's, there's something very dignified about him and the way he carries himself. Not at all, but I mean, it's just the name. The name is dignified. The puppy is not. Yeah, that thing he's doing right now on his back is not so dignified. But you can see he's going to grow into a... I'm going to put a... some stuff... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy this sucker, Dad. Yeah, dress him up. the last thing I do, dress him up, take him out for walks. It's a good way to meet people. Well, why don't you work your way up to the puppy? You know the, uh, the, the other great thing about pets? What's that, Ben? They, they can pee anywhere. Anywhere. You mean they're not inhibited the way you and I are? Yeah. Or the way I am? <laughs> So we've been is, married almost three years now. Right. So what's and, the problem? And well, my wife yeah. still has not given me back the engagement ring. What do you mean? Well, I gave her the ring as a, a promise to get married. Right. And we got married. Yeah. Give me back the ring. You know, it's an expensive ring, and I need the cash. That's that's not how it works. She gets to keep the engagement ring. Oh. And the wedding. Band. Could you write this down for me? Sure. Now, what about your energy level in general? Does it seem like it's like it's? You know, I I started lifting weights two years ago, mm -hmm. and I'm almost done. Great, but um, I've been trying to get into shape. Yeah. You know, but there are so many. Sure. Yeah. I was up in uh, Eureka, California. You know, and they have the big redwood trees there. You know, and I, was dry. I went through the drive through tree. You know, I didn't go through it, but I hit it pretty hard. You know, yeah. I don't know, my life has become so pathetic that I'm just... What do you mean by that? What, pathetic in what way? I'm just thrilled with the maintenance of the status quo. I mean, if I wake up and, uh, you know, I'll go through that minute of panic if I can't find my wallet, and then the minute I find it, it's like it's made my whole day. All right! I'm my wallet! Yay! Well, what about it? I didn't... It wasn't stolen! Did you... Was it? No! It never was! I found it! Did you lose it? No! No, I still have it. I don't know, I just get so excited about it. I get excited just hearing about it. But you know what the music means. <laughs> 